What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're keto, my name is John and today I'm going to talk to you about muscle soreness and what you can do about it. But first, if you haven't already hit that subscribe, click subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I do future videos if you are enjoying the content of this channel. I'll talk to you guys in just a minute. Okay guys, so I had a request to do a video about muscle soreness by Princess Ninja and Keto. And I just want to talk about this for a little bit because I too still get sore guys today. Oh, I'm super sore. I think that there's ways that you can combat this. So first of all, that would be if you're just first starting out working out guys, do not try to go in there and do too much. You got to try to ease in. So kind of start maybe with no weight at all and just do real light exercises and let your body kind of adapt to getting that those muscles working first. If you go in there and you try to like do way too much weight in the beginning, you're going to be so sore. I remember like the first time I worked out with a trainer, I literally could not walk for like a whole week. <laughs> and I get it. I got a very physical demanding job. So sometimes I'll go and kill leg day and I literally am hopping around <laughs> trying to get on the forklift because I'm just so sore. So I still get sore like that, but nothing like in the beginning when I first started working. Some of the things that you can do in order to kind of combat that soreness is one, make sure that you are very hydrated. You want to drink tons of water. Being in a ketotic state will actually just help in general with muscle soreness. Also, you can take exogenous ketones. Those seem to help. I'm not a doctor. Do your own research. But from what I understand, those also help to help you recover a little bit quicker. You know, making sure you're getting enough protein and things like that will also help you do that. But like I said, man, just don't go in there trying to kill it from the beginning. Just kind of ease into it and make sure that you're doing the workouts appropriately. You don't want to do something that you're not even capable of doing. Like I don't do power cleans because I'm terrible at them and I hurt myself. So you don't want to get injured or anything like that. You want to always be safe. A huge part of it is just going to come down to consistency. The more you work out, the easier it gets, the less soreness you're going to have. And so even though it's tough in the beginning, you're going to want to stay with it, stay consistent. Now, you're also gonna to wanna to give your body enough time to rest. So take some time, guys. If you're super duper sore, just do something light like a jog or a brisk walk, going outside, you know? You don't wanna to try to overtrain, and when your muscles are super sore, you don't wanna try and go and train that same muscle. Your body's telling you like, hey, take it easy. So listen to your body at first. It's just a process. It takes years, guys. I've been working out consistently for about four years now, and I'm still trying to combat soreness because I work out so hard. So just definitely take it one day at a time and just understand that it's a process. It's gonna take time to get to the point where you're not feeling all that soreness. And you won't be as sore as you were in the beginning when you first started working out. So an example, let's say you go and work out arms and your arms are super duper sore. Okay, well let's go do a leg workout then. That way you can still get a good workout in, but you're not using those muscles that are super sore. And it's never a bad idea to try to maybe do some ice baths. That can help as well. I know they're not for everybody, believe me. You can do a cold shower, foam rolling, to try and combat the muscle soreness and just make sure that you're not overtraining. That's the biggest thing, guys. Take it easy, ease into it. I work out six days a week, pretty hard, but it took me a long time to get there. So everybody works at their own pace. The last thing you wanna do is go in there and try to work out every single day, every muscle, super sore, and try to overtrain yourself because you're just gonna cause stress to your body and you're actually gonna probably be doing more harm than good. But I just wanted to touch on this subject because she did ask me to do that. And so I hope that I did offer some good solutions or tips that she can use to combat this muscle soreness. So. Definitely keep working out. It's the best way to keep your metabolic rate up. Definitely strength training. If anybody ever asks me, cardio over strength training, I'm always telling them strength training because I feel it's the best. I'm not a doctor. Do your own research. All right, you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video on what you can do about muscle soreness and some tips on how to deal with it. Thank you all so much for subscribed already. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe. You won't regret it. If you're not following me on social media yet, it's i.f.yourketo, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you all so much. Life's too short, so have a fantastic night.